Good afternoon. Uh, today I'll present our work, Lookup Table Unit Activation Function for Deep Convolutional Neural Network. Um, activation functions play an important role in the deep neural networks. They provide the nonlinearity, which is essential to learn complex distributions. Here we show a few commonly used activation functions. In this page, uh, their shape are mostly handcrafted. They are either fixed or only have a few learnable parameters. In contrast, one of the most important reasons of the success of deep neural network is that it can learn representations purely from the data. So the question we want to ask is, if we put minimum constraint on the shape of the activation function, can we learn its shape together with other network weights directly from the input data? To achieve this goal, we propose a lookup table style activation function. The shape of the function is determined by a set of uniformly sampled points. And the value of each point is learned with the network. We first try to do a uh, linear interpolation between every two adjacent points. If the distance between the two adjacent points is small enough, then we can say this model can approximate any univariate function in theory. One shortcoming of this linear interpolation is that it's not smooth enough. The gradient over the input is determined by the difference between the two adjacent points, so any local fluctuation of the function will lead to an uh, inconsistent, inconsistent gradient. To overcome this problem, we smooth the function with a smoothing mask. We multiply each point with one period of a uh, cosine function, and the final function is generated by adding all, all of them together. And by controlling the period of the cosine mask, we can tune the level of smoothness of the activation function. So for, uh, to illustrate how this method works, we first experiment with a synthetic data set. In this data set, the task is to perform a binary classification of 2D distributions. And we train a very tiny network with only one hidden layer that has four neurons. And we compare the performance of this tiny network with either using ReLU or using our method. And here we show the input data, the, the prediction heat map, and the final learning learned functions. And from the prediction heat map, we can see that our method can learn the distribution much more effectively than the ReLU. And we also plot the, the learned function in the last column. They actually look quite different from the ReLU function and show a lot higher level of nonlinearity. We further conduct experiments on the ImageNet dataset. Uh, we use our activation function on the ResNet models. And this table shows the result of the ResNet 18 models. Our method is about 1% better than the ReLU. And the cosine smoothing method uh, achieves about 0.3% better than, the, than using the simple linear interpolation. And here also plot the shape of the activation function. And we can see that they are highly nonlinear. And if you look at the, the first row is the linear interpolation. If you look at those images, it, they do have a lot of local fluctuation, as I just mentioned a few slides ago. So by looking at the shape of all these functions, we noticed that most of them have a few valleys and peaks. And then we realized w this, this kind of shape can be modeled with a one-dimensional mixture of Gaussian model. So, we propose another type of activation functions, the mixture of Gaussian unit. In this function, the mean, variance, and scale of each, each Gaussian function is learnable in this case. And comparing to the lookup table function, this function has much less number of parameters. And to further boost the performance, we adopt a multiple activation function fusion scheme, which is kind of similar to the multiple kernel fusion in SVM. In this framework, we simply um, build the final function, final activation function by a weighted sum of the shift of uh, the, the input types of functions. And here we compare the performance of the mixture of Gaussian and the fusion method. And the mixture of Gaussian method, although has much less parameters than the lookup table method, it can achieve similar result. And when we com combine them together, we can further improve the performance. And uh, this is the result. We, we compare our method with other state-of-the-art act activation functions on the ResNet 18 and ResNet 13 model, 34 model. 
and uh, our method consistently outperforms others. Okay, thank you.